By the end of this lesson, we will be able to create a dynamic dashboard using Power BI Desktop for coronavirus infection around the world. This file is based on the data starting from last day of December till 29 of March. This file displays number of cases, number of deaths, and the death rate. And here also we have two charts, one for the cases, other for the deaths. And here we have a prediction. So, according to this file, in 2nd of April, which is yesterday, we're supposed to have about 74 or 73,000, uh, 700,000 infections around the world. Anyway, if you wanted to learn how to create this one, follow me. If you would like to use it directly, you can download a copy from the link below. Uh, I will close this one. I will open a new file. The data we are going to use is coming from Urban Center for Disease Prevention. You can go direct to the website and download the last updated file. If you start Power BI Desktop, it will ask you about an account. Simply, you can close this window because it's a free application. The file we downloaded from the center is this file. In this file, we have date, cases, and this is in about 200 countries around the world. In this file, date and population is repeated, and we don't need this two information to be repeated in our report. So I'm going to take the dates to a new file. From data, we are going to remove duplicate. And simply we can change the name here to something like report date because this is the date we are going to use in the report. I'm going to save this file as date. What we do now, we create a file with unique dates without duplication. In this file, we do not need the day, month, year, as we can calculate this using Power BI. If you need to create any calculation using the population, like percentage of infection above the population, you have to take this one in a new file and remove the duplicate. Of course, not only the population, the population and the country name. But in our scenario, we are not going to do so. So file is fine. I only change the sheet name. I will close the file. So now we have two files uh, that we are going to use to create our B Power BI report. From home, I am going to import Excel file. This is the first one. I will select the sheet and load the file. Now we have a copy of the table here, so I am going to import the other table. Before I create my report, I have to make sure there is a relation between the table. So I'm going to the relation window, taking the date from COVID-19 table, link it to the date in the date list. Bar BI will understand there's a relation one to many. Now I can go back to my report. The main point is how to create a running total. If I try to create a table to display date from report date so I have a date with no duplication once you insert a date in any table Power BI will use date hierarchy if you need to remove this one you can go to the report date and take report date we are going to add the cases what we have here is cases total cases day by day so in 31st we have 27 and 3rd of January you have 17 but what we need is the running total why because we need to create an expressional growth chart which we add the new cases to the old one to see the line moving we are going to add our old measure so from modeling we add new measure to calculate the running cases we will name this measure as running cases so what we're going to do is to calculate the sum of cases calculate take an expression on filter our filter is to take all selected from the table 
all selected can take the table name or the column name in our here we can use the table name because we already use uh, the field we need to do the calculation with the filter is to check the date and the date must be less than or equal to the date I have to close the filter, the sum, the calculate, then I have to take right. I hope it's correct. There's a mistake. Yeah, it is less than or equal to max. Okay, that's correct. Yeah. If I add the running cases here, the measure, if you can see it is 27 we have 0 so it is still 27 we have 17 so it is 44 and so on now we can create our uh, chart line chart so I will add a line chart using running cases as a value date as X again we have date hierarchy so we have to switch back to the field name this is the expressional growth for cases you can do the same with this you can have running this and you have the same report for this number let's add uh, forecast so I select the line chart going to the analysis forecast I need to forecast for 30 days and I need the forecast line to be in uh, red. This is, this is a forecast. Uh, let's add the cards that change automatically according to a filter. So we will create a filter using the country name. Using these three dots, we are going to enable the search. Now we can minimize or resize the filter. Now if you select any country, the table and the chart will be updated. You can also using it with the search. Now we need to create a card. This card will display all world or the country name if you select a country. So using modeling, we are going to add a new measure. This measure will it check if there is a selected country or not. So F has one value. If there is only one country in our report. In this case, if there's only one country, I need the country name. So values, country name. Otherwise, I need Power BI to display all wallet date now if you insert a card this card will take the value from the selected country now display all wallet data if you select Italy it changes the tickets to Italy now I need to display number of cases, number of deaths, and percentage. So we will add one more card. This card will take cases, and we will add another card, which will take the this number. I need this number to be in red. So from format, data label, color, red. To add the percentage, we need to uh, add a new measure. So, new measure. This measure is this rate, which is equal sum sum of cases. Sorry, sum of this. We we have in creating the uh, percentage. We have to start with the part, which is number of deaths divided by the total, which is sum number of cases. Now I'm going to add another card 
which takes a value from this rate, but now we have number, uh, notable percentage, so I have to go back to the uh, measure, switch the result to percentage. If I remove Italy, now I have the number for the whole world. You can repeat the same with as this rate. Uh, but if you could, if you try to create a filter using the months, you cannot because if you try to add one more filter using the date, you will end with a timeline like this one. But I need the month name, so I have to add one more column to the table so I will switch to the table table view and the date list I will add a new column this column will display uh, the months or the selected months this table is format it will format the date using m m m m which means the month name y y which means the year in two digits Now I can go back to the report. This filter is supposed to use the measure I created. So I can update my report to display data in a specific month or month and country. That's it.